Hi, all. Lee Veris here with another Photo Tech Tuesday. Each week I'll be bringing you another video exploring photo techniques, equipment, software, creativity, and more. Last week I got a lot of people saying they wanted to know more about the AI model of video. So today I'm going to show you how I crafted that video. Now, this represents only one way of doing this with very specific AI rendering platforms and a stills slideshow program we'll talk about. Um, okay, so you might want to see the previous video on how I make the starting photo mandala, and you can watch that uh, here. Okay, so uh, all right, let's, let's begin. So um, the AI program or the platform that I use to create the videos for those, uh, the, the Mandala video, uh, is this one, Kyber. Uh, so kyber.ai, and uh, this is the website. Uh, you can kind of explore this. It shows you all kinds of things that you can do, which, you know, the different tools that it's got. Uh, but anyway, uh, if you sign up, um, uh, you can do a free uh, account and then experiment with it. Uh, or uh, if you pay a little bit more, then it allows you to up res videos and, and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create videos. I'm just going to click on this green button up here and uh, it gets me into the, uh, the video type. Now, the, the, the one that I find works the best for me for these photo mandalas is this flipbook. Um, and this is what makes uh, Kyber kind of unique. Uh, there, the flipbook thing generates just a different looking kind of video. Um, so at any rate, uh, we can start by uploading media. And of course, I'm going to upload an image. So I'm going to just drag an image, uh, a photo mandala image here. And you can see it's now occupying that spot. And you'll notice this button that says edit your prompt. Um, because we're going to have to describe what we want to happen with this uh, in order to create the video. So I click on Edit Your Prompt. And uh, uh, let's kind of open this up here a little bit. Um, so the prompt says, I want to create a video of, and exactly what do I want to do? So uh, I've, I've crafted a, a little description here, so I'm just going to paste it in. So I want green leaves unfolding outward in a mandala pattern with a straight down perspective, evenly lit. So I, f I found that you have to put all this stuff in there uh, or uh, the AI won't understand what it is you, you want, to, want to achieve, right? So since it's a, a photo mandala of green leaves like this, uh, I'm describing that in the prompt area and kind of what kind of action I want to see. So then the next part is in the style of. Now you can type in your own style here, but they've uh, given you uh, what they call the curated styles collection, which is uh, a, a bunch of customized styles that have been created from um, the uh, uh, from the people that have been playing around with this um, and sharing their styles or these are sort of generic styles like 3D rendering, cinematic. Uh, I've been using photorealistic, um, which, as you'll see, is not entirely photorealistic, but it puts in this prompt here, uh, which helps it to, to maintain a kind of uh, uh, realism. And so that doesn't look like a, a oil painting or something like that. OK, so now once we've got that in place, um, we have to go to video settings. So we click on this button and we get over to video settings. And this is where you are going to select the video duration. There's a default of eight seconds here. I, I usually put that up to 12 seconds for my um, Mandala videos. And I want the camera movement to zoom in and also rotate clockwise. So I've checked those. I also want to show the uploaded image in the first frame. Uh, then this uh, slider here, Evolve, it uh, shows how much um, morphing is going to occur. Is it going to is it going to be really dramatic? You know, if we put it at ten, it's going to morph a lot. If we put it at one, it won't morph very much. So I like to kind of put it sort of in the middle 
Um, and uh, this boomerang thing will will play the video forwards for half duration and then reverse. And in, in this case, I'm going to ignore that, so I'm not checking that. And then uh, it tells you how many credits this is going to cost you. So if you get a free account, you get a certain number of credits every month. Uh, if you uh, sign up for a monthly uh, payment, uh, you can get more credits. And, and you can chew through those credits pretty quickly, but it's not, uh, it's not outrageous. So you can go do quite a bit with a free account. Um, at any rate, I'm going to go ahead and generate the previews. Now this, for some reason, you have to do this before you get right into there, into rendering the video. And what it does is it's going to generate what, what would normally be used as a thumbnail to represent that video. So if you uploaded this to YouTube and you could choose a thumbnail, it's going to generate a, a thumbnail you can use for that here. Okay, so I'm just going to pick one. And uh, now I can create the video. Now you can download this so that you can upload it to YouTube and use it as your uh, thumbnail. Uh, in this case, I don't really care. I'm just going to generate the video because I'm going to create a whole other video using some, some other tools. So let's generate the video. Just click on that. And now it's going to take its time uh, <laughs> crafting your masterpiece here. So we'll wait. And I'll speed this up in the uh, uh, in the in the video here. Okay, so so there's our uh, our video, and you can see it's rotating the same direction uh, in the clockwise direction. Uh, oddly, we don't get a f good sense of zooming in here, but I I love the look of all the leaves and stuff. So um, the next step would be uh, to decide to upscale or just download it. Um, normally I upscale these, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the upscale button because uh, the normal resolution is um, only 720 and I want to get it to at least 1080. Um, so that would display well on a 1920 by 1080 uh, monitor. So let's upscale that and we'll wait just briefly uh, to get uh, to get that in place. Okay, I think it's finished uh, upscaling, so let's download. I'm going to download my 1080p version. Okay, and uh, all right, so now I'm going to go into another program. I'm going to use uh, program called Photo Magico. So we'll go into Photo Magico here, which is um, a slideshow generating program. It's designed to do the sort of Ken Burns effect on your, your photographs. So the reason I'm using this is that the, the Mandala videos don't uh, show the, the original opening frame, the original photo Mandala long enough. So uh, I want to create a, a little bit of animation, the beginning of the, the AI video to kind of show you the photo mandala. So I'm going to drag in the one I just created. And in this case, what we're going to do is start, and then I want to zoom in and then rotate clockwise just a little bit. So uh, I start by going into my, making sure my secondary uh, image is selected and we click and kind of zoom the the video or the the still so that's going to i'm going to zoom from this to this in the in the video and i want to rotate it so i'm going to rotate it just about like that and and then we'll just check we'll just check and see what it looks like hit the play button there and looks that's 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 looking very nice now i have to go get my my ai video and I'm going to throw that in here because it's the same dimensions. And um, we've already got a default uh, dissolve in place. So let's let's go back to the beginning here and let's play what we have so far. So now it's making that transition and there's my AI video. OK, I'm liking that. So at this point, 
what I would do is continue on. I would add uh, additional um, additional AI videos and, and stills that generated those. So let's let's go through that process here just a little bit. Um, I'll, uh, I'll I'll put the next still in here. We'll do the same thing. Uh, I'll zoom it in and rotate it very similarly. And I've created another uh, another video here for that same thing. And uh, let's just play the secondary uh, section over just to see how it works out. And there you go. Nice. And there's my AI video. Very cool. Well, we'll do a couple more because I've got a couple more here. Again, the still goes in first. We, uh, I, I'm zooming the still, rotating it, and then placing the AI video next to it. Let's do that one more time. I've got another still here. We'll bring that in. Get another video here. Now I went ahead, so I have to go back because I need to animate the still. I've got to do my zoom and my rotation. Okay, and uh, let's let's go ahead and preview this whole thing. All right, it's looking good. The only thing I need to do is add some music to this. And uh, as you can imagine, I can just drag in uh, a little bit of music. Let's see, I've got, uh, yeah, it looks like about 51 seconds worth of, of video here. So let's, let me find some music. I'm going to grab this, throw that music in there. And uh, this music isn't quite long enough. Um, so I'm going to just add it in one more time so that we, uh, we can extend it. And I'm just going to cut off the last part of that. All right, that's basically it. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, AI video is developing extremely fast and things will likely be very different very soon. So if you want to dive into this using my instructions, you'll have to do it soon because I'm sure everything will change in a couple of weeks. So be sure and check out my video on the creation of photo mandalas uh, and I'll I'll put that up here. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss another Photo Tech Tuesday. And I'll see you next time. Uh, stick around now for the final look at the completed Photo Mondo video. Thanks.